Hello guys, we are uh, back with our today we are taking up uh, J.K. Rowling's Chamber of Secrets. This is the second book in the series of Harry Potter. Before we proceed, Krish wants to give a disclaimer. Krish, can you give the disclaimer? Sure thing. Um, this is a fair warning. This book is all about the Chamber of Secrets. We'll be discussing some spoilers. Um, yeah, so if you haven't read the Chamber of Secrets yet, I'd recommend you do that right now before watching this book discussion. Review. Great. So what we what what just is uh, uh, we will be looking at or we will be divulging some part of the book, the spoilers. If you have not read the book. You might uh, find your spoiling your taste for the book. So let's like proceed. I will ask today what we will do. There's a change of format. I will change one question each to both of you. So the first question goes to Chris. Chris, what actually is the plot of this book? Why are you discussing this? Well, the plot of this book is that Dobby a mysterious elf that we don't know much about yet comes into Harry's bedroom telling him not to go to Hogwarts. Harry refuses, so Dobby makes Harry, like, Dobby does things so that Harry cannot go to Hogwarts, such as, like, throwing a cake at, like, the Dursley's friend and, like, Blocking platform nine nine and three quarters so that Harry cannot go there. Okay, so what happens? Does, does uh, Harry go there, or uh, he's like uh, he's just not? Harry and Ron fly in their dad's car. Okay. It was a risky journey, but they they made it into the Whomping Willow where they barely survived. Okay, so they did, they did not go this time. They did not go by the train. But instead, they went uh, in their car. By their dad's car. Okay. So what? What? Uh, what actually uh, happens after that? Well, he does make it into Hogwarts, but there's this suspicious thing, like writings on the walls in blood, saying like something about something mentioning the Chamber of Secrets. Okay. Yeah. Someone has opened the cham Chamber of Secrets. Okay. So, so this book is about Chamber of Secrets. So we will yeah. not uh, talk about the secrets uh, right now. We will uh, now go to Yesh. And yeah. Yesh, why did you like this book? Like we are talking about this uh, book review book uh, club. Yeah. So tell us that why did you like this book? I like the book because it was like very very this thing, like it was very intense. I it. I wanted to read more on because it was very, very like mysterious. It. <laughs> okay, it was intense and mysterious. What was intense yeah. and mysterious? Can you please like, cover it? Yeah. Yeah, like in the end, like who, who, what was the best like, doing? This is a spoiler right now. May I give the spoilers right now? Yeah, you can talk about the spoiler, but not the entire story. Yeah, tell me. What I like you... the ending a lot because like. That, that's why the main adventure was like Harry comes at, out as a very big hero like that and that was quite pleasing. Okay. Were there any surprises in the book which you liked? Yeah, there was one particular su surprise. Yeah, that, that was very good. What was that surprise? Like Tom Marvel, Tom Riddle is Lord Voldemort. Okay, so this is one of a big spoiler, guys. Tom Riddle was or was uh, Lord Voldemort. Okay. That was a big cross twist, and I was actually very surprised to read that. So what happened, like when you came to know about that Tom Riddle is uh, Lord Voldemort? What did you feel like? How did I'm you like, feel like? I'm like, huh? Is it actually? Is he actually have Voldemort? Like, okay. what? What's going on? Then okay. they explain the book, and then yeah, that was really really entertaining. Okay, so now we will go to yes, Krish. That Krish, which is the favorite uh, part 
in the book, which is I your like favorite part, part in the Harry, book. I like the part where Harry fights off the basilisk with Godric Gryffindor's sword. Okay. So and tell us more about one thing it? that surprised me in particular was when like Harry, Harry like like the basilisk, like a basilisk, a basilisk thing got stuck in Harry's arm. And I thought he was going to die. But Fox, Fox, who was Dumbledore's phoenix, came to the rescue. And uh, he used his healing tears on Harry. So what did you like about that? It, it was mysterious. It was like, wait, what? Did, did you get emotional that uh, did you get uh, like uh, yeah I got, uh, like, a little Harry, Harry is going to die you got emotional yeah. so you went through a like a range of emotions that okay this like this guy this guy is injured and now like this phoenix came and he was all right so you enjoyed that part was it like that yeah I was like like I was like amazed at that part. I'm really glad that part. Okay, great. Can I add on to the this thing? Like after, yeah. like he got healed up with the phoenix tears, he took the fang and destroyed the diary. That's how he destroyed the diary. Okay. That was a little random, but I suppose that could be true. Okay, so he took the fang and destroyed some diary. I don't know what they're talking about, but uh, this must be a big thing. About uh, the diary year. was how like Tom Riddle was Tom like, Riddle, yeah, alive on the diary, like. Uh, a... So okay, great. So did you enjoy both enjoy that that part? Yeah, yeah, both enjoy that part. Great. So yes, she's saying that they both enjoyed that part. Which is uh, nodding. So okay, great. Which can we see you smile? Yeah, great. You've got a great smile. So you can smile a bit. It's it's like we are having fun, correct? So now the next question is uh, to the yes. That uh, why would you recommend this book if you would recommend this book? Yes, I would recommend this book because, like as I said, it was very very entertaining. I was like first the night I read like hundred pages. I'm like I want I woke up at, early in the morning just to read the book. So it was very very entertaining and it was very very intense and it was very mysterious as well. Like what would happen in the end? In all the books, everything main happens in the end. So yeah, yeah keeps you, you like great. So yeah, would you, I would. Recommend yeah. It. yeah, you want to say? Something I would recommend more? it definitely. You would recommend it definitely. What about you, Krish? Do you agree with Yash? I would re recommend this book to people who like suspense and action because like there is a lot of, of that like in the book. Yes, yeah, It encourages you to like keep reading and reading until you find out like, you know, who did it. Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, so uh, that's what we have for you guys today. If you want to join this discussion, please, uh, uh, we have a form in the comment section. You can uh, fill up the form and uh, you can, uh, we will invite you to this discussion. We, this is, this is a discussion. We don't prime children. It's a freewheeling discussion. It is done basically to see or to basically, if you get involved with us over a period of time, you will start uh, critiquing uh, books, uh, good books. And also you would start uh, reading books. So uh, we have, uh, Krish and Yesh who did a did great job today and I would like to thank uh, both of them. So guys, uh, which is the next book that we will be taking? Prisoners of Azkaban, the next book? The Prisoner of Azkaban is the next book. So yeah. is it like a very heavy read? Is it like... Uh, Not book? that much of a heavy read. Like It's written longer than Chamber of Secrets, but yeah, if you are... <laughs> If you read the Chamber of Secrets comfortably, it will not be a problem to read the okay, Azkaban. Approximately. Yeah, if you read the first two books easily, then you, you I think the third book. I, th well. I think it's the same same length as the second book. Okay. So Three hundred to four hundred pages, I think. Okay, great. So next, we will be taking uh, the third book in the series. Uh, till yeah. uh, till that time, we wish you well. Keep, uh, keep happy and uh, 
good night to all of you. Goodbye from uh, Yesh, Krish, and the entire team here. Thank you and take care. Bye. Bye.